hey all it's nina and i'm back with another tutorial so today's look is going to be yet another valentine's day look however this one doesn't include pink or purple you know the little girly colors that we love to associate with valentine's day this one is a more wearable look this one is for like date night you know i think it's cute I think you will too, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna start by doing my face. I feel like, yeah, I'm just gonna start by doing my face. So the first thing I'm gonna, do, I already did my eyebrows. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my face using my baby skin instant pore eraser. I think today I will be using this Milani Conceal and Perfect and it is in the color 11 Amber but I'm also going to mix in a bit of the Maybelline Fit Me well not mix it in but like more put it around the edges because I do feel like this is a bit light so yeah the same old same old that I always do you know what better yet i'm just gonna mix it on my little mixing platter here if you OP and uh, engaging, you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OP and. Uh, now I'm using the Juvia's Place Shade Stick. And this is the color Grenada. I'm going to use this as a uh, highlighting concealer. So the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the lonely us. And it's hard to open up. And I'm also going to use the shade Nambia for my contour. I'm just using some of my ColourPop Conceal in color Dark 40 just to add a little bit more brightening and coverage in this area. I'm also going to prime my lids with this. to set my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color Medium Deep 30. Mm -hmm. 
first impression You OPN We should be close to friends If you OPN Engaging is on my agenda Now I'm going to set that contour Using the Fenty Beauty First impression You OPN We should be close to friends if you OPN, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you's on my agenda. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So I'm gonna start by using the Nubian. The Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. And I'm going to first dip into this brown right here. Request my cherry and get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together. I'm going to jump into the Nomad palette. And I'm going to jump into this deep brown right here and I'm just placing that into this outer V area just to deepen it a little bit now I'm gonna move on to cutting this crease area While the base is still tacky, I'm going to jump into the Tribe palette and I'm going to use this shade called Curla. You're gonna get a bit of fallout with this, so if you care about that, just be mindful. Request my cherry and get ya. The doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. You open. Bitch, you won't be. I'm just gonna take the remainder of the brown that was on the brush and just sweep it over the brown and. I know there's still a bit of a line there, but I kind of like how that looks, so I'm going to leave it. So you can leave it like this if you like and add a wing liner and some lashes or skip the wing and just add really full lashes. But um, I like, you know, a bit more glitter. So I'm going to use this little Stila pack right here. So I'm going to be using all three of them actually to complete this eye look. But the first one I'm going to use is, what are these called by the way? These are Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow by Stila and this one is called Burnished Sienna and it kind of looks like the curler that we put on and I'm just gonna take a bit of that it already comes on a brush so it just makes everything easier a brush of what's this called i don't remember what it's called but you know what i'm saying wand and i'm just gonna place that on my eye first impression 
So the best thing for me to get that precise line is I put a little bit of the glitter on the wand right there. I don't know if you can see that at the very tip of the wand. And I'm just going to try to carefully place it. I know I mess up sometimes, but it's whatever. But just try to be as careful as possible. So I'm not going to go all the way up to the line. I'm just going to start like just below it and push upward. It's okay if you don't have all three colors, you could just pick one and use whatever. But I don't know, for me, I just feel like, why not if I have all? And now moving on to the next shade, which is Sunset Fire. It's a little bit lighter than Burnt Sienna, so this is Sunset Fire. And the one on the bottom is Burnt Sienna. And I like to place this one more towards the center or like find your focal point in that area, whichever area you feel like need, whichever area you feel needs a bit more pizzazz or shine or whatever, that's when you wanna add this but sometimes I just end up putting it all over as another layer, so. I don't know if you can see that, but it's more, has a more yellow tone to it, more goldish tone. And I'm just gonna place that right on top in the middle right there. For my inner corner, I'm going to use the last shade, which is Follow the Sun. So you see how it looks on the brush there, right? And now I'm gonna just put it in the corner. That is a lot. but I like it. And then I'm gonna go to the under eye and back to that brown. Or this is the part where you can have a little fun. You can add whatever color you want to at the bottom. I might do something different. So I'm gonna go back into that Tribe by Juvia's palette. And I feel like since green is my favorite color, I want to use this one. This one is called Sand. So I'm going to use Sand and I'm going to just swipe that on, on my under eye. Both eyes are done. My whole face is done. I'm just adding the finishing touches. I put on my lashes. Don't know what lashes they are. My face looks really greasy because I just spayed, I just spayed, I just sprayed the setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish. This is what I used on my birthday. And I'm highlighting my cheeks with Juvia's Heroin Glow 1. I'm just gonna add some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Active. I'm gonna use my NK pencil called Dark Brown to line my lips. And on top of that, I'm going to use my Lancome Juicy Tube. It's going to be in the description box below. Looks like this. I'm just going to use a little bit of that for the glitter. And 
Okay, I'm gonna use a lot of it because I like how it looks with the brown. Engaging is on my agenda. Request my cherry and get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and hop in. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I hope you do too. And I figured something out with my crazy hair. I'm supposed to be looking at the makeup, but I'm really into this hairstyle. I just, you know, toss something together and it looks good. So I might have to wear my hair like this to work tomorrow. But yeah.